Hi, I'm Sickle Cell Natural Healing and today I'm going to talk about what it felt like finding out for the first time that my son had sickle cell. I remember receiving the letter in the mail from the Texas Health Department and I remember reading the letter and reading that my son has a blood disease and it was SS type. And that is the day that my world shattered into a million pieces. My world was completely turned upside down because of the fact that I didn't know anything about sickle cell disease. The only thing that I knew, the only thing that I could relate to it was what I saw growing up as a child in Louisiana. I saw many kids suffering. I saw many hospitalized. I even knew people who lost their siblings that passed away. So I knew it was a very debilitating, painful disease. And now I am about to walk or start my life walking in the same footsteps that these people once walked that I knew growing up. And I had no clue what I was going to do. I was completely at a loss. Um, I remember going to the first doctor's visit thinking that I'm going to get my answers. The first doctor's visit, I know I had about 30 questions to ask the doctor because I was determined to get to the bottom of my child not having a crisis. Because at the end of the day, our kids are innocent. They're innocent, they're precious, they can't speak for themselves. So I feel that it's up to us as a parent to do everything in our power that we possibly can to protect our, our kids. Now, the doctor visit wasn't a great success, and I say that because I didn't really get the answers that I was looking for. And basically, at the end of the day, I just wanted to know how to prevent crises in my kid. That's all I wanted to know. And I wasn't quite familiar with the Western way of doing things or the Western world. I'm all new to this. So I think that's what really led me to uh, start researching natural alternatives because once my son started having these crises it seemed to me that there was no end to it it seems like he was just sick and that's it every three months he's sick every three months he's sick he's in the hospital and it kept happening and happening and happening and I thought to myself, if we continue to do the same things over and over and over in this life, we're going to get the same results. So I knew if I wanted to change something, if I wanted to help my son, I needed to turn and do something completely, totally different from what I had been doing. And the only other thing that I knew to do was to turn to nature, turn to uh, natural alternatives, uh, plants herbs, things that God put on this earth for the healing of the nation. And he tells us that in Revelations. So, um, although it was a very tough journey, it was a tough road uh, going through this beginning process because I feared for his life. I was scared because I knew at the, at, at, at the, si at, at the first sign of any crises, you never know, it could lead to a stroke. It could lead to organ failure. It could lead to death. Um, I know most times it's chronic pain, but you never know what it could lead to. And I think that's the one thing that really, really scared me to pieces. That's the one thing that really got to me. And because of that, I was so determined to find something to help my child. So, uh, but just know to do your research. Always research, no matter who tells you what. If it's your doctor, if it's your friend, if it's your minister, if it's me, always do your research. And it's about educating ourselves. We need to really start educating ourselves. We need to start reading more. We need to start doing more research. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things out here in, in the world natural things that can really heal the body if we just really understood nature and understand how different plants work in our bodies. So um, I would say to anyone out there with a child with sickle cell, uh, know that it's going to be okay. But we have to put the work, 
in place. We need to uh, find out what we can give our child to help them. Uh, don't settle for what uh, the norm is. Don't settle for what the, 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 the going drug is or the popular thing right now. You have to do what's best for your child. And I would just say continue to go to support groups, continue to plug in to all the information that's out there on the, on, on the, on the internet, continue to talk to people, talk to your family, talk to loved ones, talk to your friends, continue to get that ongoing support that you need because I know that it is very, very tough watching a, ch a child suffer. But at the end of the day, the goal is to find a way to prevent crises. And that's all that we want to do as parents. We just want to find a way to prevent crises. Whether you're a parent who has a child with sickle cell or whether you're an adult who's dealing with it. So let's continue to research, continue to raise awareness, and continue to just search for answers. And um, I promise you, there is answers out there. Until next time, thank you.